God, I'm gonna fucking murder you, Tim. It's like an action thing, in there. We're back. We don't need and it because action. we're not sinking anything, you cock gobbler. I mean, that's true. Uh, I mean, sinking anything, this isn't the Titanic. We are not icebergs. Um, however, one thing I will say Ow. is don't read the Bible, folks. Thanks. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Let's. Let's read whatever literature you want and whatever fairy tales you believe in. <laughs> My god is always bottoming. Unrelated notes. Uh, so two. we yeah. ended it with <laughs> just pure, pure outrage at <laughs> Joseph's family. <laughs> well, there's no imagination here from the writers. No offence, you guys. I think You're it's probably quite, listening. quite funny, in all fairness. It, I think mean, yeah, it's right. Joseph and I Mary. think it's just tackling different stereotypes. Yeah. Those are very diverse character base here. Yes. Pardon me. Oh, that was me. That's gracious. We've all been in a bunch of gassy gals oh, what, what have you eaten? It smells so weird. <laughs> I think it's the coke. It doesn't smell like Cocaine. food. Uh, oh, we read this last time. Yeah, so. <coughs> oh no, it's the woman from the... <gasps> <gasps> They're oh, married. That is a plot. Right, the a plot thickens. Just like this song. Nathan, we get to hear your husky voice again. Oh shit, I've got bounce between the two. <laughs> oh, that's true, I should have done both. That's awful. <clears throat> oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Mm. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiled. She is wearing a cross. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to bed? Ah. I'll have to go look for him. <laughs> <laughs> what? You'll have to? Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary, this is our new neighbour, Daddy, and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. And shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Wink, wink. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. <laughs> Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. <gasps> I wonder if this is a sort of, like, open marriage, where mm. because he's gay... She can fuck whoever she wants as well. Mm -hmm. it she, takes... Like I said before, she's definitely, like, a person who latches on to gay guys and is yeah. a really big fan of them. So maybe that's what's happening here. It takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Yeah. Ha ha ha! <laughs> my wife has a wonderful sense of humour. But please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Notice how he said guys. Orgy. <gasps> please let there be an orgy. It was so good. Here, let me introduce you around. This is my bottom. I mean, daddy. Hey, daddy. <laughs> Have you met Brian yet? Have we met Brian yet? Uh, I don't think I so. We have met Brian. Who? No, we haven't. Remember Brian? Like hey, Brian, him. come over here for a sec. Okay, I don't know whether I'm really excited or really apprehensive, <clears throat> but either way. Ah. Brian! A man in a loud Hawaiian sh shirt jogs up to me and doesn't look See, like he's ever jogged. This would be where George would come in handy. Mm. Yeah. Because there's, al there's already a lot of characters going on in there. Yeah, and also okay. George owns that shirt. It's true. Also, look at that belly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So, Tim, do you want to do uh, this I one? I mean, you're doing all the voices right now. So I, I, should, yeah. I can do it. I no, can double can't. up the voices. Yes, I can. I'll be, I'll be this guy because I'm going to do you I'm going to do a mix of Scottish and Irish. No, you can't do it. Let me do it. Here. That was awful. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, this is Daddy. He just moved into the neighborhood. Hello. Ah. Well, pleased to meet you, but... Uh, Put her there! What the fuck is that voice? <laughs> Brian pulls me into a uh, handshake, engulfing my hand in a vice-like grip. <clears throat> I let out a small squeak after my hand bones have been ground to dust. Not much of a handshake guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm more of a hugger. Which house did you move into? <laughs> the rough stone one in the cul-de-sac. Oh, the one that's just like mine, but smaller. <laughs> so I'm just turned into Mickey Mouse! <laughs> Why are you You're listening to Woody from Toy Story right now. That kind of hurt. That kind of hurts. Is he trying to one up me? My instinctive dad competitiveness kicked into gear. 
smaller houses are safer. Uh, it's, it's leaner. Yeah. What do you want to go for? If, you go, if you're going competitive, it's leaner sounds like... Yeah, mate. I practice design. Minimal, minimal, minimalism <laughs> in my purchases. <laughs> Why own more when you can know what's right? Right. Also, I'm pretty sure my house could outmaneuver your house and achieve a tactical advantage. Oh, let me introduce you to my daughter. <laughs> a kid peeks out from behind Brian and she looks just like the, the witch from Brave. <laughs> this is Daisy. Oh, I'm Daisy. Daisy. Hello! <laughs> Hi, what grade are you in? Oh, God. Fifth grade! This is getting confusing. We're actually trying to get her to skip sixth grade, not to brag, but she's pretty smart. Not to brag, that's exactly what bragging is. Amanda's mm. smart too! Mm. Let's pull that. Thanks, Dad. Well, I'll be around the party if you feel like saying hey later. You have done so many different <laughs> accents, regions, <laughs> creeds. <laughs> this is exactly why I should only have one voice. I told you, I, to I said, <laughs> let I'm me not do gonna Brian. Quit. I'm not gonna like, quit. No, no, yeah, no. no, too late. Brian is your character now. Cool. You have Happy to do that. It. You got it. Let me introduce you to Damien. Alright, who's gonna take on Damien? We really it need depends to George on what he looks like. Right, well, decide on what he looks like, okay. Joseph beckons a tall man <sighs> in a gothic attire to the conversation. I could do this. It's dumb. You, you wanna do, do it? it? I could do, no, I could do this. I, I mean, you... Let, you right, okay, let's... Let's, let's hear it for... Oh, okay. No. Hi, I'm... I'm... Should we all try? Okay, so right. let's get him on screen first. And we'll all try the first line that he says. Oh. Okay, so... Good friends. <laughs> right, nice and you. Good eve, friends. <laughs> You're not going to be able right. to keep that up. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, friends. Okay. Uh, He's he not spectacular. Brain damage. Good eve. <laughs> no. Good evening, friends. <laughs> Good eve, friends. But he, he's got a fucking cake. He literally is from... What? Castlevania. Transylvania. Castlevania. Yeah, so... Anime about vampires. <laughs> I've never felt cooler in my life. Such a weeb, Jesus. <laughs> right, who's, right, who's, who's doing, doing voice? <clears throat> I mean, I'm still doing. You're doing Joseph. Joseph. At the moment, I'm the only one that's not on screen, so it should be me. I mean, you are on screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am you the screen. Are on screen. Yeah. You All can. right, I'm gonna do it. Okay, play okay, it. okay. We'll see how this goes. Friends. Damien, this is our new neighbour, Daddy. Ah, so <laughs> lovely to meet you. Damien shakes my hand and then bows. You may actually have to move up with that voice. Weird flex, but okay. How do you mean? As in, Speak like, up. closer to the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just because it's very wispy. If ever you're interested, it would bring me great pleasure to host you for a spot of afternoon tea. Can you be out in some? Wow. Uh, yeah, that sounds rad. Oh. Splendid. Well, I must be off. I've been in the sun far too long. <laughs> Perhaps our paths shall cross again. Cross. Vampire. Confirmed. Damn, <laughs> what a classy dude. Illuminati confirmed. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Mm. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I met around and tried some of the food spread out on the table. And that means Joseph. <laughs> I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. If there's a dad left, I'll get him. Because he's doing free. Alright. Am I doing free? Yeah. You've got uh, Hugo, Craig. Craig and Robert. That's Baratheon. <laughs> Ugh. Powder, I don't want to have to make friends. Uh. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? Oh, I mean, there's no way you're going to But school. I don't want to have to do pleasant trees. <laughs> Dad. Ah, uh, They're going to want to talk about the weather. <laughs> go do it. Make a fucking friend. We already did. <laughs> but how can I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. You're already a bad dad. You slept with Robert last night, you ho. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. She doesn't know you that. You 
<laughs> this plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. Brilliant. And I'm going to buy a blasted aubergine and call it my new daughter. <laughs> Amanda shoves me into the centre of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces all jacking up onto a biscuit. <laughs> Wait, is... <laughs> Isn't that the barista from Coffee Spoon? Oh, oh my I gotta God. try and remember. This is not good. Oh, dang. Oh, oh. Rabbit's here? Hey. That guy who tra kept trying to one-up me? That mysterious goth guy? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know, Craig. <laughs> but wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I better investigate. So this is like putting everybody on a plate for you to be like, hmm, who do I like? It's like having a menu and just going, yes. Oh, so it, I, I think Matt, Hugo, and Craig are your best bet. So Matt is coffee guy, Hugo's <gasps> teacher, Craig is... Daddy, daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that idea. Okay, we're going with that. Matt... Well, all three of them. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. That's yeah. Lot Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in a t an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely because he's thick as shit. <laughs> I walk over to say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art things <clears throat> like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of the time and place. And try to take something like, say, the Roco period and Rococo. Compare... <laughs> That's what I said, you little bitch. If it was the in Roco anime, period no, yeah. and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. Man and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in for a blowy. <clears throat> Dude, I have, like, no idea what's happening. All three of his characters are on screen at the same time. Oh, Matt, well, no, Matt's, Matt's, Matt's him. Oh, okay, sorry. That would be really close. Very close. Uh, I'm going to talk to Craig. Yeah. That's a good shout. I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little bit more attentive to my existence. How'd resistance training go the other day? Oh, oh great. Little River here is a great cheerleader. Ain't you, tiny bro? Try and resist me. Craig grabs River's arms and waves him around. Oh. That's child abuse. <laughs> you can do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm so sorry for pooping on you. She must be a handful at that age and get used to me pooping on you. Oh, gross. Oh, they always are. Gross. But it's so worth it, dude. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves him around. Oh. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. Mm. How are you settling in? Uh, the new place is perfect. No, almost done. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled, but I think we can upgrade the situation to liberal. It's a little bit disconcerting that the other two are talking to each other, but they're just mad dogging you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> occasionally blinking. Mm -hmm. We did livable throughout the entire. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Did you just elbow his dick? <laughs> no, <laughs> my lines. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Little bitch. We did live all throughout the entirety of college. Yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing as a palate cleanser between different types of pizza. She still does, that's though. really great. Hey, she takes after her dad. By getting railed by different guys? <laughs> <clears throat> Daddy, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly, including that Robert guy. Hey. <laughs> uh, wait, it's like super <laughs> douchey. Super yeah. douchey, yeah. Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. I'm gonna have to try and remember his voice. Yeah. Uh, actually, there's not much point because this is. The end of the episode. Oh. No, we've got like goody gum drop. 20 seconds. Absolutely not. No. No, because we try and finish it early and we never do. We always go right up to the end. We I do. Don't know what about. I we have all the great. So, <clears throat> we've been to the cookout. Every gay in the villa is there. The villa? Yeah. The villa. Village. Uh, Village. Meeting all of the, the daddies. Let's have fun with this and try not to get everybody's voices mixed up. Quite. Mm, that's already happening. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell, us in real the bell life. to get notified, and we are going to see you in the next episode. Dream Daddy! See ya! Also, that's for Craig. <laughs>